What's up, my add-ons? Advantageous here, and I'm bringing you another post-commentary battle spot doubles battle. So this is the last one. I'm trying to just get these all recorded, the ones that I have, because uh, Pokemon's getting updated to 1.2, and after that, um, all these videos will be unplayable. So we can't have that. So I'm gonna get into this the same team as last time. Um, I do believe I have the same lead as last time, which is cool. I like I like kind of having the um, speed control support with uh, Magnezone works out really well. So I'm seeing, so yeah, so we have here, we got Metagross, uh, Aerodactyl lead, I'm like, you're going for Tailwind, this is probably going to be Assault Vest Metagross, um, with the Aerodactyl, which is fine, so I'm like, okay, I don't want any Tailwind shenanigans, I'm just going to fake out that Aerodactyl right now, and we'll just get rid of it, so fake out Flash Cannon, and I, it shows that it actually outspeed the um, Metagross, which I'm fully believing now is Assault Vest. Uh, back to HP. So yeah, so this Metagross actually goes for the Hammer Arm, which is like, whoa, buddy, that's a bit strong. So, go by Air Balloon. Rip. Uh, so he brings in his Guard Chomp, which I was like, that's a questionable play. I don't like that at all. Uh, this Metagross uh, Bullet Punches my Weavile, probably to break the potential Sash. Doesn't even bring me down to Sash. Uh, but Icicle Crash doesn't miss, goes off on this Garchomp, and we see no Focus Sash, no Yachi Berry, uh, Salt Dust would not have made any difference, so that Garchomp is just gone. So, it may have been Groundium Zed, probably uh, went for the Magnezone, so it's like either way I protected it didn't matter. So it kind of sucked, I didn't even need to protect with Magnezone, I could have just gotten a Thunderbolt off on Metagross. So, Salamence comes out, gets the Intimidate off. And I decided to save it. I realized that the fake out will be like infinitely useful later. And I actually go for the double switch. Which is which was a questionable play for me, but I realized like there'd be no way he would expect this. So I, I felt it worthy. Like I felt like there was possible move coming my way, so Bolt Punch comes onto uh, Pidgeot. Um, and I took that fairly well, and then Double Edge comes through on Free Marina, and dominates me. <laughs> but, at least now I'm in an okay position where I can bring Weavile back in and get a fake out off. And then I can Mega Evolve, fake out Hurricane. Like, even if I wanted to, I could, uh, probably Ice I don't think I have a Mega Salamence, so I didn't want to risk it. Go for a speed tie risk of miss, any of those shenanigans. So I just said to pick up the elements, uh, get the hurricane off, and just finish them. Yes, yeah, so a bullet punch comes up on the Weavile. Uh, so yeah, so it's kind of looking iffy just because of this, uh, this Metagross. I, I haven't really touched it. It's been just kind of sitting there doing its own thing, uh, but Hurricane will take out. The uh, Mega Salamence, which is good. So in comes Magnezone, and now it's finally time to get some damage off on this thing. So I go for a Heat Wave, there's no need to go for Tailwind again. Tailwind has not really been that useful lately, but it could be Clutch. Uh, so Heat Wave Thunderbolt comes off, and I'm like, excellent. This is good news. As he meter mashes me, and I live on one HP, guys. One HP. He got, and you saw he got the attack raise, which would have made no difference anyways. Well, the punch would have taken Magnezone out, but I realized if he clutched it, the 2v1, the 1 HP live, I would not have lived if he made it, but oh man. 1 HP! That's nuts! That's nuts! So I managed to just barely take that game. Like, that was so close. I think, like, that was the last game I had of the evening, as my heart was pumping. It's like, oh! Wow, so this team proven to be uh, pretty effective. I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye.